This is going to uh, confuse a lot of the five-star dummies around here who think everything I do or say is based off of who I hate more or uh, less, which is just projection, by the way. When you see people that say, like, uh, this guy's only picking such and such team to uh, win because he hates whatever the other team is, that's, pro that's projection on that person's part. See, they don't... They can't comprehend, the, the, they, they can't imagine that there's somebody out there who can look at a football game and just objectively pick which team they think is going to win or lose just based on who they think the better team is or the better matchup is um, because they don't have the ability to do that. They just look at two teams and they go, water, wet, fire, bad. Me hate this team more. So me pick that team win. Like that's their total mindset. So they assume everyone else operates that way. I don't. Uh, I'm taking I'm taking a Florida to beat Kentucky here. Uh, I would love, love to come on here and pick Kentucky. For one thing, I picked Kentucky in my preseason predictions. I thought this would be a game Florida would lose. Unfortunately, I also thought the Tennessee game would be a game um, uh, Florida would lose. Now, uh, here's a here's a part where you can type about he was just saying that because he hates Florida. I'm not changing. Uh, I, I'm not picking Florida to beat Kentucky um, because I think I was somehow drastically wrong about Florida. No, I think I was wrong about Tennessee and Kentucky. I don't think Florida is much better than what I thought they would be in the pre in the off season in the preseason. Uh, Tennessee's just obviously worse. We've already seen that. And it looks like Kentucky is, too. The Devin Leary thing is not working out. And, and, and look, Devin Leary was never going to come to Kentucky and reinvent the wheel. He was never going to come to Kentucky and become a Heisman contender or lead Kentucky to an SEC East uh, title or, or birth in an SEC championship game. Like, that was never going to happen. But Devin Leary was an above-average college quarterback with a ton of experience at NC State that Kentucky got out of the transfer portal. And I thought he'd be better for Kentucky even than Will Levis was. Um, this is something that gets hard to dis discuss in a short format like this or, or really break down. But there are certain quarterbacks, I think, that are whose game is better suited for the NFL versus college and vice versa. And I'll just give you a couple of quick examples. These are kind of like obvious ones, but kind of just apply this in general. I, I think Will Levis is a better um, fit for the NFL than he is for college football. I think Tim Tebow was a better fit for college football than he was the NFL. It, it, we all, look, we can all name like a bunch of examples of quarterbacks who were pretty good in college that never amounted to anything in the NFL. We can also, j just think to yourself right now, just start naming the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. They weren't all elite in college. So one doesn't necessarily translate to the other. So this isn't an insult or a put down of either Will Levis or Devin Leary. I just always looked at Will Levis as more of like a prototypical drop back pocket passer, better suited for the NFL. I see Devin Leary as more of kind of a college playmaker. And it hasn't worked out for him at Kentucky. It's, it's not been great. He's um, not even completing 60% of his passes, which is just bad in modern college football. Almost everybody is well into the 60s at this point. The, uh, your elite quarterbacks are well into the 70% completion percentage the way these offenses are running now. He's got, I think, he, only eight or nine touchdown passes, which isn't terrible through four games, but he's got five, four or five interceptions, whatever it is. Uh, uh, it, 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 hasn't, it hasn't gone well for Kentucky. Um, it seems like every offseason, especially since the portal has come around, that and I don't blame Kentucky fans for the look. Um, Kentucky fans are diehard fans. Like they, they, they desperately want a, a, a um, legitimate football team, and more important than that, a legitimate football program. And they have come close to getting there under Stoops, and they may get there. And a couple of years ago, they were pretty good. I mean, they were ranked inside the top <coughs> fifteen for a while. Um, they seem to have come back down to earth a little bit uh, since then over the last year or so. Um, 
But it, it seems like every year in the preseason, the offseason, we start to hear kind of these stories floating around, rumors. Some of it just comes from a Kentucky fan, so you take it with a grain of salt. But some of it comes from, like, the sort of national college football media, too, that, uh, you know, well, Kentucky's got – this guy and this guy, and you know they finally got a couple of playmaking wide receivers, and this is going to be year, you know the year the quarterback sort of has the breakthrough, and then the season starts, and every year it's kind of just the same thing again, a below average quarterback most of the time who flashes in a game or two, no real wide receiver threats. Um, good lines of scrimmage and a good running game. And that's kind of what we've got with Kentucky again this year. I, I really like Ray Davis. He's done well running the ball. Their RB2 has looked good too. Offensive line. Um, the defense has played good. With the exception of the Vandy game. I, I, uh, you know, I think they gave 28 points to Vandy. I mean, it blew them out. They scored in the 40s, I think. but um, And they've scored a lot of points in all their games. Um, but Vandy's their only Power 5 competition so far. And they gave up the 28 I don't. I don't know. Honestly, to me, it's really coming down to Leary. That like I. Th I thought I, that with with Will Levis, yeah, he he had the 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 recruit rating and sort of the hype. He didn't have any experience though, really, when he got to Kentucky. Devin Leary's got a ton of experience, <coughs> a ton. The last couple of years at uh, NC State, I know he battled some injuries and stuff last year, but like I, I am, I, I've just been disappointed. Um, that Leary hasn't played better. I, 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 I bought into it. I thought Kentucky was going to put two feet forward, uh, like in the passing game this year and all that, and it just hasn't happened. Um, Kentucky is favored in this game by about a point. Uh, this, this thing is moving around some. So depending on where you look and when you look, you're going to find it anywhere from Kentucky, a two and a half point favorite to Kentucky, maybe a one point favorite, you can a, a pick them in some places. Florida slightly favored by a point in some places, again, depending on where you look and when it is you you check. The game's in Kentucky. That's an obvious advantage for Kentucky. Um, and the days of Kentucky sort of just being intimidated by Florida's helmets, those days are over. Uh, over the last, uh, what has Kentucky beat them? Three to the last five, something like that. Two of the last three, three to the last five, I think it is. Something like that. Coming off of, like 31 straight Florida wins in a row from like the mid eighties until five or six years ago. Um, you know, there's no one left on this Kentucky team that was even in college while Florida was, uh, wrapping up that win streak. Um, these, th these players on Kentucky now are not intimidated or scared to play or host Florida. They expect to win the game. Kentucky's fans expect them to win the game. I think Kentucky can win the game. But again, I've already told you at the beginning, I'm going with Florida. So I guess the whole point of this video is just kind of explaining my reasoning why. So it's not that I'm, this guy just hates Kentucky. What? Really? And I love Florida. I, I don't know. You guys are weird. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Kentucky wins. Like I said, it's at home. Noon game, I, you know, it was a night game, maybe. Uh, atmosphere be a little tougher. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Florida's got a good defense. Florida's got a really good defense. Um, we have to acknowledge that. Offensively, they've got problems and issues and situations. Last week against Charlotte, um, they only managed 22 points, five field goals, and a touchdown against Charlotte. That's not good. Um, that's 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 not good. That's bad. <laughs> um, but 22 points might win you the Kentucky game this week. I think this is going to be a very low-scoring game. Um, I don't expect either team to have some sort of offensive explosion here. I don't think Kentucky's offense is capable of that kind of explosion against a defense like Florida's and just haven't seen anything from Florida that leads me to believe they're going to do it either. Graham Mercer's completing a high percentage of passes, but his average ball uh, down, his average length of pass is like one and a half yards for the season or three yards. It's like three yards. It's, it's something ridiculous like that. Uh, a lot of Dinkin and Duncan. Now, now a lot of teams are doing that. Um, and they've, you know, they still got ETN and Montreal Johnson. They've got good running uh, game. I just, it, I, I, like I said, I'd love to come on here and pick Kentucky because I'll be honest with you. For me, for what I do here, it's a lot better for me if when Florida loses. Like the point and laugh thing at Florida is off the charts. There, unfortunately, there's just not a lot of people looking to point and laugh at Kentucky. So if, if Kentucky loses this game, I don't get very much mileage out of that. Whereas anytime Florida loses a game, um, you know, um, it's great in terms of the numbers for the channel. I'm just being honest with you on it. 
but I, I don't I don't see it in the cards this week for Kentucky. I hope I'm wrong. Um, but I think Florida's defense is going to be too much. Um, probably, yeah, this is this will be the best defense Devin Leary's faced this season. Now he played Clemson a couple of times, I believe at NC State, and that's an SEC level defense or was <laughs> uh, the last couple of years when he played against them. So it's not anything he's never seen before, but it'll be the best defense he's seen this year uh, by a mile. And unfortunately, from what I've seen from him so far, I just can't trust him to get the job done here in this game. I'm going to have to go with the Gators to win a close one, um, you know, somewhere between three and three and seven points. But yeah, God, I hate this, man. Give me the Gators.